In this video, I'm going to talk about cell phone charger phantom power draw. Um, you'll often hear that you should unplug your cell phone charger because it takes a lot of energy and over a year's time this can cost you many dollars. Um, so to save money and energy, you should unplug these chargers. So what I've done here is I've plugged in seven different chargers. I have uh, two iPhone chargers and two iPad chargers. This is a Monoprice charger a Motorola cell phone charger and a Samsung cell phone charger and I've hooked up a kilowatt meter here so um, if we go to the watt setting we'll see that this is currently drawing uh, 1.4 watts of electricity and then if we go to the dollar setting uh, this is set up for eight, kilo, 8 cents per kilowatt hour Okay, so we're showing uh, zero dollars a day to run these seven chargers. One cent per week, five cents per month, and 71 cents per year. So if you had all of these chargers plugged in at your house, uh, it would cost you 71 cents per year. Now, you'll say, oh, I don't have phones plugged into these, won't they draw more power? And that's true, but when you have a phone plugged in, you're actually using them. The, the advice is that you unplug them when you're not using them. So there is a little bit of a phantom draw, but for 75 cents a year for this many chargers, I don't know that it's worth it. If I take this down to say one charger, so now I just have one iPhone charger. You'll see it's not even registering on here. It draws so little electricity. So I think it's safe to say that you can leave your phone charger plugged in and uh, not have to worry about spending a lot of money on electricity over the course of a year. Thank you. Bye.